Meetings YouTubers. In this video, I'll be looking at how to set up and adjust some of the meeting options in Microsoft Teams. The first thing I'm going to do is just to set up a new meeting in Teams. So we'll set it up for today, 4 p.m. Ironically, we will call it the Breakfast Club. Okay, I'm actually going to add just one student to this. Um, fry Fry. Friday the cat. So there we go. And I'm not going to put it into a channel or a location or anything. I'm just going to leave everything else blank. Now, in order to get up the meeting options, you do have to send this first of all. Click send and then go back into the meeting. And then you've got meeting options here at the bottom and also here. So it's the same button, but you can just copy that link from either one. So from there, or right click, select copy link there. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go to Google Chrome. So here we have the meeting options for Microsoft Teams. We've got the title here, Breakfast Club, and the time and the date, and the name of the organizer. Then we come to the important parts, which is who can bypass the lobby, announce when callers join or leave, who can present. So let's have a look at who can bypass the lobby. Right. Well, okay, so you have everyone, which is, I mean, it's okay if you want to keep a meeting open, but, you know, you do run the risk of uh, teams bombing, I suppose. I would not select that, uh, particularly in a virtual learning setting. So let's get rid of that one. So you've got two more. So people in my organization and trusted organizations. Uh, we haven't put any trusted organizations at our school, so that only leaves the final option, which is fine. But it does mean that anyone in your organization, and for me, that's a school, it does mean that they can start the meeting. And we'll look at that later on. So I would hope that Microsoft put in another option here that says that we have the option to not let anyone bypass the lobby. So I'm sure they're working on it. Announce when callers join or leave is really cool because it just gives you a notification whenever someone joins or leaves. And then who can present? So this is the key one, particularly for me, because as a teacher, a lot of the times like I'm only the one who's presenting. Uh, and we'll look at that in a bit. So we have four options in here, which is everyone can present. So I wouldn't put that as a default ever. And then People in my organization, again, that just means anyone with a school email address, so I wouldn't select that. So I would either be selecting specific people or only me. Now, I will be selecting only me for this one uh, because what that allows me to do is allows me to record the screen and also to share my screen and end the meeting. No one else has those three options, which are important uh, for a virtual learning environment. But you can also add specific people, but just to be aware of something here, you can only add specific people who you've already added into the meeting. So if I search for uh, my one of my co-teachers, he's not in there. It does not come up with his email address and I cannot add it, but it will find Friday the cat. Okay. So make sure that before you do this, you've already added those presenters to the meeting beforehand. So for today's meeting though, I'm going to select only me. So we're going to save that and then we're going to head over to Chrome and the Teams app and have a look at the student view, attendee view and the teacher view or the presenter view. I've logged in as Friday the Cat in Chrome and you can see that the Breakfast Club is here. And then on the right hand side, I've logged in as myself and that is the presenter account. Going to try to start the meeting as an attendee which we know that you can do from uh, the meeting options so just click join all right this should change this button here to join okay so i'm just going to click join there okay so what we're going to look for now is the different options that should only be available to the presenter okay so we're going to look at the right hand side first of all which is my account the presenter so if I click on more actions, I can see I've got end meeting, I've got start recording, and I have share screen. So 
I've got those three options as the presenter. Now, the attendee should not have any of those options. So this click three dots here. Awesome. So start recording is there, but I can't click on it. So is share screen and the end meeting option isn't there. So fantastic because, you know, if you're a teacher running this meeting, I'm sure you want to be able to control those things. Okay. Anyway, let's have a look at what happens if you want to change that. So if you want someone to be able to share their screen, because, you know, that's quite likely in a virtual uh, learning environment. So to do that mid meeting, just go to show participants here on the teacher side and then click on one of the attendees. There is only one and select make a presenter. Okay, click change and let's have a look. So that person can also start recording, which by the way, if they do that and if you were also recording, that will stop your recording and then they will start a fresh one, which is annoying. But anyway, you, they can share the screen, which is good. And then you can also go back and then make them uh, an attendee again. That covers uh, all the meeting options that are currently available in Microsoft Teams. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.